When the primer has dried for a minimum of six hours, the fiberglass and 1588 base coat is ready to be installed. The fiberglass is available in rolls of 50 square feet, 100 square feet, 500 square feet, and approximately 1800 square feet. The fiberglass rolls have a width of 50 inches. Lay out the fiberglass mat onto the surface, butting the seams together. Do not overlap the fiberglass. Position the fiberglass mat away from the outside edges by approximately one half inch. Fray the outside edges of the fiberglass by slightly pulling on the edges to help eliminate straight lines from telegraphing through. Cut the fiberglass mat to fit around posts and drains using scissors or a razor knife. Once the fiberglass has been properly laid out, pour the 1588 base coat into the middle of the mat. Using a half inch nap roller cover, saturate the fiberglass mat with the 1588 working from the center of the mat to the edges. If multiple pieces of fiberglass mat were used, do this for each piece, overlapping the 1588 base coat and working your way towards your exit. Coverage rate of the 1588 base coat is a maximum of 45 square feet per gallon. Applying the 1588 too thin will not allow enough product to soak through the fiberglass and ensure adhesion. In order to remove air trapped in the fiberglass in 1588, it's recommended to use a fiberglass roller product SF820 over the wet 1588 material. It may be necessary to do this over the most recently applied 1588 material on larger surfaces before applying more 1588 to the fiberglass. It was not to allow the 1588 to dry before using the fiberglass roller. If you do not have the fiberglass roller, allow the 1588 to dry, then cut the air bubbles with a razor knife and put down the fiberglass with more 1588 base coat and allow to dry before moving to the next step.